The man is locked in a cage and he's running out of time and must find a way out to free his daughter. At this point, the walkers outside are also approaching and John ties a rope with carrion and flings it out as hard as a gun. The walkers start grabbing for food and the two of them drag the metal door upwards and the two manage to escape. They quickly make it to the house to wake up the sleeping woman, holding their daughter, and just as they escape, Fatty chased them out with a gun. The woman rushed out to cover them and blocked the bullets with her body. Seeing this, they could only escape quickly and came to the cave to avoid a disaster. The next day, they continue their journey and soon they find a family by the river. But at this moment, Peter is digging a hole. When John gets closer, he realizes that Peter has been bitten by a walker. John knows that he can't trust his daughter to them. Next to Peter's wife and daughter, John took out his pistol, which had six bullets, and decided to kill Peter's wife and daughter, and use the remaining bullets to kill himself. But John couldn't do it and had to leave. Not far behind came the sound of gunshots. John still holding Peter's gun, sitting on the ground, suddenly heard his daughter called out to her father. John rekindled hope for the sake of his daughter. He once again gave up suicide, then he continued on his way, and before long John became more serious. He put down his daughter and stepped aside, and yellow mucus began to appear on his face. He had to keep himself awake, when he saw the carrion next to him, he couldn't help but eat it. Looking at his daughter again, John finally restrained himself, and took the carrion with him and continued to walk, until they couldn't hold on any longer and fell to his knees. John said his final goodbye to his daughter and tied the carrion to a tree branch. John is putting braces on himself and finally tying his hands together, completely turned into a zombie. John carries the two children on his back using his rotting flesh to guide the way and continues on. Soon the tribe finds them. Just as the tribesmen were about to kill John, they were stopped by the girl's hand. Her took out his perfume and sprayed it in front of John, who turned into a zombie felt the scent of his wife's perfume and realized that his daughter was safe. His hands began to shake and the girl took his hands and nodded towards the tribe and ended John's life. The girl carried John's daughter into the tribe and the clan loved the child. In the end it was discovered that he had thank you written on his stomach. Very touching zombie movie that brings out the greatness and selflessness of a father's love.